Now we will talk about motion and force in two dimensions. Earlier we were analyzing motion in one dimension, for example along a road, like a car moving along a road. The road is a pretty good geometrical approximation to a line and you can move forward or backward in your car, but we're just staying straight along the road. So that's motion along a line, that's one dimensional motion. But there are plenty of cases in the real world where we move in two dimensions. For example, if you're running on a soccer field, you can move all around the field. You can move forward and backward, but you can also move perpendicular to that, left and right. And some combination of forward, backward, and left-right motion could take you literally anywhere on the field so your motion is not confined to one dimension. You can move freely in two dimensions. You can move in the plane of the field. Now obviously there's some boundaries. You're not supposed to go out of bounds. And you're not going to move in three dimensions. You're not going to start floating up above the field. But you can move in two dimensions. And there are plenty of cases in the real world where we have motion in two dimensions and where we have forces acting in two dimensions. And that's what we're talking about in this section. Motion and force in two dimensions.